like what we're reading and where we're going and things like that but I just wanted to say hi and start this video so I hope you enjoy. Hi, it's the first like full day of our holiday here in the Lake District. It's actually been a really nice day today. Um, we didn't expect it to be. Here's Amy, <laughs> chilling in the background. Um, I have actually read an entire book since we arrived and I thought I would just talk about that quickly and also show you the other books that I've bought with me. So sorry, I'm <laughs> like gonna okay. cover you up with a book. I've read Someone Is Watching You by Tessa James Mackey, which is about, um, this girl getting trapped in like an abandoned prison with her little sister. It was really, really creepy, very fast paced, which was good. Um, as I said, I've read it like in the past less than 24 hours. I started it last night and I've just finished it and it's like four o'clock on our like first full day. Um, so yeah, I've already finished this one. It was okay. I found it very gory for like a teen book because our main character is 16, um, which I just found like I was quite surprised by the end of how gory this one actually got but um I did enjoy it like enough I liked it but I didn't enjoy it overly I guess um and I did find it quite gory so yeah I wouldn't necessarily recommend it to the age category that it's for if I didn't know the person and didn't know that they would be able to take it because I was a bit taken aback my, by it myself because I think some of the gore and like the darker stuff would be like better suited to an adult book to be honest but yeah um i did still like the plot and it was very like fast paced um i also bought with me this one which is while that was unexpected by jesse q Sotano. um because my friend sophie recommended it and i thought if i want to bring something to read that's like not crime it would be a good one to like split up the tbr with because i also bought the lies we tell which is a young adult thriller and I bought The Murder of Roger Ackroyd by Agatha Christie which is obviously adult crime. I also bought my copy of Tower of Dawn because Amy is reading Empire of Storms. <laughs> She's rereading the um, entire Throne of Glass series so we have both of our copies of Tower of Dawn. This is the new hardback. I didn't. New I didn't realise you bought the new hardback. Yes. Yeah. I stupidly decided to buy all the new hardbacks, even though I've got all the original ones anyway, and several paperback editions. They are pretty. That, I don't, and the mini editions. They are very pretty yeah. though. Yeah, this is the new um, covers for anybody who hasn't seen them. I feel like they're a lot nicer in person. That's a nice I find video. I find the colouring for Tower of Dawn like really jarring me. It is odd. Like to me it's always been blue. It's blue. <laughs> so the fact that it's orange threw me off a little bit. Yeah, because like the blue I feel like the blue cover of Tower of Dawn for the paperbacks and is the hard the hardback's the same right? It's also blue. Yeah. The old hardback cover is very specific because it 
does stand out from all of the others like for this paperback set all of the other covers are white and this one's blue and you're like why it looks horrible but then when you read it you realize it's set in a completely different continent and it makes sense it does stand on its own so yeah to make it not like yeah the orange is a bit weird yeah the orange is a bit strange i do like the like i do but think those look nice i think but... i like them more like because when i think when i first saw what they looked like i was like i don't really like the covers they look a bit yeah to me they look too crime novelish yeah they do look a bit um but actually having them in hand they do look a lot better yeah they look a lot nicer in person and i do like the artwork on them i think it's pretty cool but i much prefer the older covers still to be honest um she also bought her proof of love theoretically which i also want to steal no. <laughs> or at least read it <laughs> you can borrow it that's true um we also went to a little bookshop nearby um which was sam reads in grassmere yesterday and both yeah, bought I books i didn't even realize that's what the place was called I just yeah and just some of these books. Well, they they don't even think that's what it is. Um, so oh. I bought the whole pack of the Tide. Um, they put a bookmark in for I didn't even realise that. Yeah. How lovely. Mm. Considering I drew, destroyed part of her shop, she was very nice. <laughs> Amy did knock over <laughs> a display in the shop. Um, but yeah, I bought this one, um, which is Hold Back the Tide by Melinda Salisbury. I have. I've known about this book since it came out, and I've always been intrigued. I've always loved the cover um and it just felt like the vibes of yesterday because whenever i go to a place i want to buy a souvenir book from that place um like for the holiday or whatever and yesterday there was a couple in the shop i was eyeing up um and i've heard really good things about this one more recently that's made me think about buying it because as i said i've known about it for years um but somebody actually re like recommended it to me personally recently can't remember who but i've heard really good things so i thought i would actually buy it and it just fit so yesterday was so rainy and like dreary and obviously we're also in the lake district so this like lock or lake um picture on the front um just drew me in and it felt like the right one for the day amy bought sorry yeah, hold on. Anyway. <laughs> Amy bought Last Chance Books by Kelsey Rodkey, which did not fit the vibes of yesterday, but I told her she had to buy it because I thought she would really like it. This is very much the vibes of You've Got Mail, but the author had actually not seen You've Got Mail before she wrote this book, but it's about two rival teenagers who work in, no, not rival teenagers, they work in rival bookshops. If the angles changed, my phone ran out of storage, but anyway, one of them is in an independent bookshop, one of them is in a chain bookshop. And I really enjoyed this book when I read it. I think Amy will as well. So Amy bought that one. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I don't know what I'm going to read next, but I don't know whether to go to, while well, that was unexpected as a break from the crime for a bit, but we will see. I am not sure. Um, but I'm probably going to start reading something else fairly soon because, yeah, I read that one a lot quicker than I expected. So I will read some more. We also went swimming today, which was fun. And we painted um, little pottery animals, um, which was really cute. And you will have seen a video of it in the previous clips. But yeah, that was fun as well. But anyway, I will catch up with you soon.
been so nice and warm and we've been out some baby and we hired bikes and I just went to take my bike back and now it's raining so so I would just give you a quick hello and update while I'm walking back to the van in the rain on my own um I've finished another book since I spoke to you I think I didn't update you yesterday because we were out busy all day and um, we went to the world of Beatrix Potter who is the creator of Peter Rabbit and it was adorable so much like creativity had gone into that little museum that was so wonderful really glad that we went and also bought a lovely little mug as well which I'm very happy about as a little souvenir for the holiday um we also picked up our pottery that we painted and I uh, got my little highland cow which is cute but yeah <laughs> we went swimming this morning then we hired bikes we've been out of sunbathing would you believe it now it's like it started to thunder and now it's raining but it's like that sunny, sunny like um rain where you can smell it on the ground and uh yeah anyway i'm blabbering about the weather but i finished the lies we tell is that what it's called finished that yesterday quite enjoyed it actually it was like really interesting talked a lot about racism and fetishizing asian women and had some really important themes but also a really fast-paced plot and i read it in like 24 hours so yeah really enjoyed that um and finished that gave it four stars also like 200 pages into the murder of roger Ackroyd, which is like my voice is going <laughs> which is like 260 pages long so I'm hoping to finish that tonight and I've also started Tower of Dawn so I'm hoping to finish The Murder of Roger Ackroyd read a bit more of Tower of Dawn possibly start another book before we go home but we're going home tomorrow anyway I should go because I'm losing my voice and nearly back but yeah hi <laughs> Hi, welcome to the end of this vlog. I am about to go out so I'm in a bit of a rush but I thought I would just quickly wrap up this vlog. I think I've only finished The Murder of Roger Ackroyd since I last spoke to you so I don't actually have much to update you on but as you can see I am back at home and I have some posts to unbox so I thought I would just end this video with a quick unboxing of what I've come back to and say that I did really enjoy The Murder of Roger Ackroyd. I think after reading a short story collection of Agatha Christie's, I'm definitely back in the mood for her writing. I definitely enjoy her longer full-length novels a lot more than her short stories, and The Murder of Roger Ackroyd had a really good ending as well with a lot of twists, which was pretty cool. Um, So yeah, that's my kind of wrap-up for that. I gave it four stars in the end, and... Let's dive into the post because as I said I don't have a lot of time, I am rushing out in a moment but the first bit of post is, it's a very small book, I didn't think this would be so small but this is cute, it's Rhubarb Lemonade, um, it's translated which I didn't know and it's by Oscar Kroon 
and this is a young adult um sapphic romance i think i loved the cover so much so thank you to the publisher hotkey for sending me this because i was so intrigued i'm actually quite happy that it's so short as well i feel like that one will be a good one to read in like one sitting on a summer's day maybe the next one is the penguin book of korean short stories um which is obviously from penguin this is a much bigger book than i expected it's full of different short stories i don't read a lot of korean fiction so i thought this was a good like way to get into it so i requested this one from penguin so thank you for sending that one my way hopefully i will be able to delve into it at some point it's a very big book and last but not least i have jennifer duggan's um adult debut which is love at first set and this is from avon which are harper collins so thank you to harper for sending me this one jennifer duggan is the author of some girls do hot dog girl verona comics um a few different YA books. I've read Some Girls Do, which I enjoyed. Very excited to read some of her other YA work. I do own most of it. I just don't own Hot Dog Girl. I think I own the rest. Um, but yeah, I am very excited for this one. It sounds quite good. Oh, I have Melt With You as well. So yeah, she's uh, written quite a few. Oh, and she's the author of the young adult graphic novel Coven. I didn't know that either. So that's cool. But yeah, thank you to the publisher for this one. So yeah, this is a nice little stack to come back to. I'm very excited for those. So thank you to all the publishers for sending them my way. Anyway, I really need to rush off for an afternoon out, but so i would just wrap it up here so thank you for watching this video i had a lovely holiday by the way um sorry i'm rushing but yeah i had a, such a lovely holiday we did get a flat tire on the way back yesterday and i just hit myself in the face um but yeah we had a flat tire on the way back but we sorted it a lovely lorry driver stopped and helped us as well um but yeah we got it all sorted and we got back safe um and we had a lovely holiday so i hope you've enjoyed it and watching this video and hopefully i'll see you in the next one bye Thank you.